What is up everyone, it's me the gamer 119 doing the first ever Polycore or at least hosting, how are we doing? Hosting the first ever Polycore Media podcast with the whole entire Polycore team. I got Jin with me. Hi, how you doing? I got Guardian with me. Hey diddly diddly. I even got Port with me. Hello. And it's just Twinkie, he's not really important. I'm eating fucking McDonald's. Fuck you. (laughs) 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 Alright, and today we are doing this on the 19th of January, 119 day. Yes, I am am stating that now. It's 119 day. Did you do that on purpose? (laughs) Oh my gosh, he did do it. I always wanted the 19th to be something special, okay? So the 19th, we're always doing podcasts. Not really. (laughs) Hey, technically speaking, I wanted to do this on Saturday, but... Guardian said he. I think he works Saturday, so. I I don't work again until Monday. So. Oh right, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was Jin that works Saturday. Yeah, Jin works tomorrow. Uh, actually, I'm good. I got off at base. What? Oh. Yeah, want to make another excuse, you fuck? <laughs> I get I'm, off at I'm telling you, came, I this, is, at 12. this is all real. Well, Port won't be here until like late so there <laughs> yeah but I'm, I'm i'm taking my laptop with me and i got a phone and i'm on the phone doing this so <laughs> can, can anyone help me <laughs> can anyone help me with this <laughs> oh my gosh all right all right fine 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 whatever i did this on purpose anyway so the way the polycore media podcasts are gonna go we have three select topics that i would randomly not really randomly pick but i just thought of having that we should discuss then there's a fourth topic the fourth topic is um one topic from each person we'll put it on a spin wheel and we'll let the wheel of fate decide which topic we talk about wheel and then that's doom. a wheel of doom and that's pretty much it i guess yeah that, that's pretty much it it's pretty it's a pretty easy podcast honestly just four topics per podcast and people with us we might have special guests with us one day who knows but until then it's just the crew so we'll go with the uh the first topic here we'll start in a uh, Jiffy, the first um, topic I'll ask you guys individually. So Jin, since I named you first, you won't be going first. So I'll say Guardian. Guardian, you're gonna go first for this one, all right? Oh yay! All right. So the first question to you is, what is your best slash worst game of 2017? So two games, your best one and your uh, worst one of 2017. Uh, my best game and my worst game of 2017. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! It could be on Xbox, oh. Nintendo. Uh, so uh, PlayStation. Oh, if we're doing that, then the best game, my best game that I picked up was fucking. Uh, God, uh, Legend of Zelda Breath. I knew it. I, cause I get, I get, I get called off between from y'all all the time for sitting there and playing it instead of focusing on the game. Fucking nerd. (laughs) And then my worst game probably had to have been Has Been Heroes. What's Has Been Heroes? Um. Has been heroes is like a uh, it's a over the top kind of based like the old Final Fantasy where you choose moves to use, mm-hmm. but you had it was lane based so you had to move around, you had stamina bars, and it was probably one of the worst things I've ever sat down and actually played. Ah, uh, okay. Ugh. Regret. <laughs> I still never played a Legend of Zelda game. And I'm I'm really ashamed of myself. I have shame, shame. <laughs> I played shame. like the very first one, and then the two that came after that. Oh, okay. I played every Legend of Zelda game that has ever come out, except for when no, yeah, no. I played one. What was the one on the Switch? Skyward Sword. Never played that one, but I heard it wasn't worth what? playing anyway. Mm-hmm. So, Guardian, do you know the way? Shut Don't you up, stop man. that. I, I will fucking leave, I swear to God. No, don't leave. <laughs> no, no memes Jin, here. I don't no. know what it was, Jim, but I was going to up for like an hour and a half with this stupid, you, you do not know me, just the way thing. I know. Fucking, I like, why, why did I respond to you? Like, I was watching, I think I was watching uh, Flash, or I was watching Black Lightning, and he sent me that. I'm like, I looked at it, and just put away my phone. I'm like, yeah, not not doing this. That's <laughs> so funny, Jim. Yeah. Green walks out the room and he was like, "Hey, Jen told me to show you this." <laughs> and the moment he put, the moment I saw a knuckles, I cut, I cut the Green's phone off, locked it, and threw it in the corner. <laughs> Not today. 
Oh, I'll get you next time. Oh, my God. And then when he sent it to me, I didn't even bother to open it. I just deleted the whole entire snap. <laughs> delete right him, there. block him, remove him as a friend. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Now, the next question goes to, or the same question goes to Port. What about yours? Your best and worst game of 2017. Okay. One second. All right. This was exciting. That was awesome. Whoa. Good talk. Good, good, good talk right there. All right, take you. I'm sorry. I'm I'm talking to my dad. All right, go ahead. So, I'm sorry. But um, best game, 2017, Wolfenstein 2. Worst game, it's going to have to be. Uh, hmm. Fortnite. <laughs> oh my gosh, Fortnite. I can't believe I spent 40 bucks on that game and this year's gonna become free. Oh god. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh it's already free. No, 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 no. Like the it's campaign part. Yeah, the campaign part is gonna be free this year. You know what's funny? I only spent 20 on it. You fucker! Like, me, it's, it's weird. Me, Velocity, Jin, Port, Twinkie all spent money on this damn game and, like, it's gonna be free this year. The full version. That's they should give us our money back right now, man. I know, right? Like, that's the same thing that happened to me when I bought Defiance for 360. I played it for a bit, because it was, like, the first ever oh, M- MMO game on the uh, 360. But then... It was, like, Evolve, really. And then it went to free-to-play. I'm like, really? You, you really? poor soul. Yeah, that, no, no, no. Yeah. What's even poorer of me, of my soul, is that I mean, back on the 360, back when, like, um, what, Xbox Live Gold games were just starting off, like, maybe the first three months, I had bought Dark Souls, because it was on sale. Literally the next month, it was free. Yep. I was pissed. Oh my gosh. I, I was just talking to uh, Kareem's older brother about that shit earlier today, about when it first actually started doing it. Yeah, and I, I was heard. like, The only reason why I remember is because... Oh, there went port. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's going to lose connection back before. What's up, the man? only reason why I remember <laughs> is because they first started it off about... Halo, it was Halo 4's Spartan Ops fifth episode is when they first started doing it. Mm. Yeah, around there, I remember. Like, the Xbox One didn't come out yet. I think it was, like, being made, but it wasn't announced yet either. It, no, it wasn't even announced. It, yeah. it was during the time that Halo 4 had already been out for a little bit, but it's when, it was when, no, it was when they dropped the legendary mode for um, Spartan Ops. When did uh, Halo 4 come out? Didn't Halo 4 come out in, like, what, 2012? Stupid-ass game. No, God. Uh, Halo 4 came out in... And... Got at least still respect it for just... I, you know, no, Halo did come out in 2012. Yeah, 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 I remember. Yeah, I went to Job Corps in 2013. Yeah, the reason why I remember um, Halo 4 came out in 2012 is because um, at after, I want to say, after Halo 3, there was a Halo game every single year. So, like, Halo 3 came out 2007. I want to say Halo Wars came out 2008, while Halo 3 Halo Wars was OEST was 09. Halo Reach was um, 2010. And then the year after that was Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, which was 2011. So I do remember Halo 4 being 2012. Yep, I remember that clearly. And then the year after that, what? I don't think a game came out after, um, after that. I'm actually. back again. Welcome back. Yeah, I hit a dead zone. <laughs> You driving now? Yeah. Okay. So I might hit a few dead zones yeah. here or there or lose service. All right. So, so your worst game was Fortnite. I I might have to agree with that. I hate Fortnite. The, I, I, I like the battle royale part. It's just the fact that I spent yeah, no, I, I, forty dollars I, 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 I on it. I won't agree with it, but I, it is down there. I'm not gonna agree with it. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm not gonna agree with it fully. I just hate the fact that I spent forty dollars on it. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna always hate the fact that about that. But um. Yeah, so Twinkie, what about your your best and worst game? The worst game? I already started with the worst game. That's like a fucking three way tie right there. Alright, go ahead. Say all three. Cuphead? Because it's fucking annoying with that stupid flower. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking flower is an asshole. That was what I wanted to get. Oh my god, that's amazing! Uh, that, I, he, he would, I that was one. That one. Uh, number two would be Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Whoa, 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 whoa. Which part, though? The campaign or the multiplayer? You know, I didn't have it long enough to play the campaign part, so all of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. true. Commando. And, no, no, no. Take it back. The third one if you have an experience, both. 
For the campaign, you can just watch the walkthrough. <laughs> yeah, you can just Google that. YouTube it. Or just watch our walkthrough. Port made a walkthrough. Jeez. Support yeah, us, man. Port yeah. doesn't talk. He's not entertaining. Entertain me, Port. I actually talked during that walkthrough. Did you mention boobs? Uh, did you mention boobs and, once? Wait a minute. Twinkie, what? I was in a party with you. Yeah, during... <laughs> yeah I, was a, I was in a party with Port while he's streaming. I know. <laughs> yeah, during my first walk, part, um, walkthrough um, of that, you were in for the first yeah. half. Yeah, I know. Alright, what about the third worst game to me? Destiny 2. It's funny, because Cuphead, you don't play much, and Destiny 2 and Battlefront, you both lost at the same time, because committed to Baker's account. I mean, I could easily go into take his account, but I'm not going to. Mm, yeah. Anyway, um, what about the, uh, what's your best game? Um, Overwatch. Why did it come out in 2017? Uh, yeah, Overwatch didn't come out in 2017. No, I don't care. I don't care. It carries over. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Overwatch does not carry over. Fine. Um, well, I don't really know. I didn't get many games that are really new. <laughs> he lied. I mean, I, I would still count Overwatch because it's still getting updates. It's still getting characters. Well, if you but, just say that, then some people can throw Final Fantasy there. Yeah, please. then yeah. we can throw fucking half the game. We can throw a bunch of stuff in there. Comrades added stuff to do. The, you had Every episodes. Game called videos, episodes but but I said... I said uh, I didn't say best part. I just said best game. That's the cheating. <laughs> yeah. You said best game of 2017. Yeah, it's that not a game of 2017. Game. That's a game of oh, 2016. Know, I want to say Madden's. You know, oh, Madden? The only game I've actually played that might have come out this year is Madden. So okay. Madden. Okay, well then. <laughs> then. Right. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, so, Jen, what about you? Well, actually, no, it's my turn, I guess. No, yeah, yeah, it's my turn. Alright, so. He <laughs> <laughs> just wants to hear himself talk. <laughs> Alright, so, my worst game of 2017. There was a game I was playing, I was like, you know what? Nope. I, hold on, I think it's still in my ready to install list. That's what I'm looking at actually right now. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure this game is about to install this. It's an Xbox One game, but I'm like, nah, I can't do this. Uh, while I'm thinking about that, my best game has to be um, Minecraft Story Mode. So, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, no. Not Minecraft Story Mode. That's like, it's almost there, but it's not there. Titanfall 2. That was my favorite game, and it was my favorite walkthrough of 2017. Like, me doing uh, the walkthroughs. Wait a minute. Huh? When did Outlast 2 come out? <laughs> This, this year, year? <laughs> I want to I want to make that a tie for four out of the worst games because that's how's that a worst game? That was amazing. It's just that you were scared. It's scared. You're a bitch. That's what you think. It's hey, I played it, Jen. <laughs> Fuck you. I beat it. What did you do? Oh, oh who played who played Layers of Fear and finished the whole game before everybody else? Fuck off. I played Layers of Fear. <laughs> yeah, and I finished <laughs> it. Oh my gosh. I'm but uh, this game. you said you stopped at a part. I went through let's the whole thing. See, let's see my. No, we beat game. it. We, we beat it. I went back after him. Well, yeah, you beat it after me. Uh... I didn't. Look, I didn't play with you though. When I beat it. You know what? I know my worst game. My worst game was Skyforge. I was so hyped for that game. You really were. Just, I, I was really hyped. I was like, yes, a new MMO game that I could play, an MMO RPG game. Just really happy for it. It's just no. God, at least it was a free game, though. I'm, I'm actually like really it, happy. At least you didn't have to pay for yeah, it. I'm really free. happy I didn't pay for it. It is free, but I'm really happy I didn't pay. I didn't really pay uh, pay for it because I was gonna buy that uh, starter pack. Did you, it's a good game. did you ever realize there might be a reason why you didn't have to pay for it? it, it it's a good game, it but it wasn't for the fact that you had to pretty much beat the game twice over just to get a new character. Then ah. it's like, eh, yeah. I hope the same thing happens with you guys when you guys play Monster Hunter. Yeah, you, get the, the, you get this hype for, and then you just, and then it just sucks. That's because you like, want that to happen because you're the only person that's not getting Monster Hunter. I know, I need friends. <laughs> <laughs> no one's giving you money, Trey. Yeah, I, I don't want money. Final Fantasy Hey, you can always ask Reaper to buy you a copy of the game. He probably would do it. Reaper bought. He paid for like half of the copy of the game for um Duck and me. He paid for the game for himself. He paid for, um, like, 80% of... Me and of... Reaper both paid for half of the one for Barry. Yeah, and then, not really half... I wouldn't say half, I would, I would say, like, 40% for both of you guys, while Spartan gave, like, the extra 20% to get the Deluxe Edition. We don't count Spartan, uh... He gave $10! He's the reason why I got the Deluxe Edition. I have 11 games on oh, my, really? game, like, on my yeah. games right now, like, that are installed. I'm gonna count how many I've paid for, despite, like, not the ones that I've gotten from, like, from Nick. Not the ones that Reaper paid. Not the ones I've gotten for oh, burping uh, for Christmas. I'm gonna <laughs> just count like the one ones that I bought. I feel like it's less than five. 
There is one. Uh, <laughs> oh, one. Yeah, one. Just there one. 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 <laughs> and, 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 and honestly, honestly, it's Fortnite Battle Royale, which was free. What? You, you didn't even buy that. Get out of here. It was free. Get the fuck out of here. I mean, it installed for my actual Fortnite. Okay, so well, then that counts. So yeah. I'm, it yeah, counts, but so you don't use it for Battle Royale. I didn't Royale. actually go to get the Fortnite Battle Royale that came in. Yeah. Yeah, that's my best and worst game. What about you, Jin? Uh, worst game? It's a hard one. It's a hard one, because uh, I played um, Battlefront 2, and it was horrible to me. To me, in my okay. opinion. Art, campaign, or multiplayer? I would say both to me. Ooh. Uh, I thought the story was... Did you even play the expansion DLC for the campaign? No, no I didn't. Oh, I didn't. it's really good. Boy, did a walkthrough on it. It's... But I'm going to say the best watch one. Fuck <laughs> just just because watch I played it. it, the best one had to be... Actually, no, I'll take that back. The worst game is Mass Effect. Andromeda? Mass Effect and Andromeda. Okay. Oh, I thought that was really good. No, I, I thought it was horrible. It glitched a lot. It was... Complete bullshit. The character. Are about, wait, wait, wait. Are we talking about glitching too? Huh? Let's add PUBG into that too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't have PUBG, so I'm not gonna add it. They're it's still not... trying to fix that. Though. You get kicked out of the game every fucking two minutes. Oh yeah, PUBG yeah, does technically but count. It is a preview. I will say this: best game of 2017 is is tied between Wolfenstein 2. Good. Because that was a great game. And um, Shadow of War. Oh, Shadow of War was so good. Yeah, so I gotta say those two games were actually the best of 2017. I just, I just don't like the way Shadow of War, like where you have to like defend your, uh, your kingdoms or whatever, your territories multiple times toward like the ending of that part. I stopped that sort of defending like eight times because I lost all my captains, and I know I was eventually supposed to like level them up and stuff like that, but I just didn't. Fall oh, gamer. You didn't do it, Brad. I'm sorry. I, I stopped the walkthrough at that point after the eighth defending. You failed us. I know, I know, I know. Anyway. And Wolfenstein just had a great, great story. I haven't actually played I like Wolfenstein. How I know Guardian it. has, and apparently Port has, and I guess you have. I never About what? Wolfenstein 2. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I do that. I still... It. Uh, I started it, but I haven't finished it yet. But I, I, I like the game as it is. I liked all the Wolfenstein stuff. So. Yeah. All right. So, the next uh, topic that we have going on for us here in this pod is 2018, a year for a gamer. So that's the next topic. Pretty much, we're going to be talking about what our thoughts on are uh, for the games that comes out this year. And I guess, like, what's our opinion on them and stuff like that. Is this a good year for gaming? Because I'm not sure if last year was. I mean, there were certain games that I expected to come out and didn't. <clears throat> Scalebound. And Halo. I didn't expect didn't the Halo game canceled? to come out. Yeah, like, Scalebound got canceled. They never announced a Halo game last year. No, Halo yeah. 2 came out last year. The hell? Yeah. <laughs> get out of here. That, <laughs> okay, yeah. so anyway. Well, so far we got a li- list of basic games coming out for 2018. We got State of Decay 2 this is coming out. Yeah, this, well, this is an open discussion, by the way, so anyone can just talk about this one. Um, so, yeah, the State of Decay 2, yeah. So I'm excited for State of Decay 2, to be honest. I'm sure, I, at, some point, yeah. I'm sure at some point they'll have Madden 19 coming out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No one cares about your Madden. Hey. Fair point. <laughs> I've been playing State of Decay bro. recently. Wait, what did you say, Jin? I said God of War is also coming in 2018. Oh, I really need a PlayStation. I would love to play God of War 4. I can't believe it's no, about jump I have one. Yeah, you got one, but you don't want really me to have I just played at my friend's house. It's actually have. my dad's PlayStation. Yeah, Probably my dad has a PlayStation 3, but I don't have a PlayStation 4 here. Yeah, my friend sad. has a PlayStation 4. I just played at his house. <laughs> hey, bro, yeah. can I come in your house? No, I need to go. God of War 4, <laughs> I'm excited about when I get a PlayStation finally. Um, State of the K2, I'm excited about. I've been playing State of the K. Uh, uh, Spider Man game. That actually looks nice. That's another Sony. That's another PlayStation game, though. Yeah, it's another PlayStation exclusive game. These are really good games. I don't like this. <laughs> uh, the one that we all got excited for when we did see it 
but we're scared because it may be a disappointment. Anthem. Is. Yep. I'm I actually, I actually uh, watched a video last night before I went to bed about Anthem. You guys want to know what some information I got? What you got? All right, I got this. Um, they talked about social spaces, and um, there is going to be a social space. That social space that we saw and saw the preview of the game. And some guy, I forgot exactly his gamer tag. I'll probably link it into the description uh, during this pos- uh, podcast to just to give him credit and stuff like that. But he was talking about how he had messaged on Reddit and uh, one of the, uh, I guess, creators or whatever, or whoever helps with the game Anthem, had said that what his idea was, and his idea, the, the YouTuber's idea, was that there should be like a main social space where you know you go to the place you get you buy your items that you need you get armor yada 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 you do like normal destiny stuff like inside the tower and stuff like that but then there should be side social spaces that you would have to unlock throughout the storyline and those side um social spaces will kind of be like the reef and how the reef acted and and the uh what's the other the mountain i think no it's not called the mountain but it's the other iron banner place that was inside destiny where you would have to go you know if you want to play trials you would have to go to that social space and not the tower. And if you want to put Iron Banner, you have to go to the other social space to get your awards and, and not the tower and stuff like that. So, oh, side to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other vendors. So, like, side social spaces for, like... That's not as big as the main social space was what the YouTuber was saying. And, like, I think the one of the people that was working on Anthem had said that they were thinking about doing that. Another thing is, um, regarding the open world, they're thinking about... I guess they're kind of working on if they want to make it like a full open world thing, like how the how the division is regarding you know how there's that dark zone in the middle of the division map, and then there's everything else around it, and that's still all in one I guess server in a way. They're they're trying to think if they want to do like that kind of open world, or if they want to do like Destiny's open world, where like if you go through like some kind of tunnel and you arrive in a different area. It kind of like deletes all the information that was behind you or wherever you left and stuff like that, and like as if you're going on different Close servers and stuff. Region. Yeah, like regional servers. Yeah. So I think the guy replied with saying that they might do the regional servers, but it's a lot smoother than Destiny's on how they transition to their servers and stuff like that on their maps. But their, I think they said that their worlds are a lot bigger than Destiny 2's, or not a lot bigger, but like a bit bigger than Destiny 2's uh, worlds. So even bigger than the EDZ and stuff like that. So it would be better if it was much bigger. Yeah, I know. Like a game for like a game like Anthem. The Destiny like maps are kind of small. Yeah, in a way, they could be bigger. I mean, Destiny ones now were definitely small, but Destiny twos I think are bigger, except for IO. IO is not that big, and definitely not yeah. freaking Sat. Um, not Saturn, but Mercury's. Definitely not Mercury's. Mercury's was too dang tiny. I mean, I would like to see the size of the map be kind of like the aberration map from Ark or the Ragnarok, because those are huge maps, and you can do a whole lot with that. Yeah, they Especially are if you really go for the maps. Yeah, I got lost you, in those maps. I will suggest this to Gamer, is that you... Wait, you got the aberration DLC, right? No. You know? I thought you were posting it then. Guardian was supposed to give us the season pass, but he never got... He never could have... Uh... Uh, okay, well, the map. I'm not gonna. Try, I'm not trying to spoil it, but they really make use of the three-dimensional aspect. Not like the whole, thing, but they do a lot of going up and down, side to side. So yeah, it's like if you were to take it but the, the width, it's huge, width-wise. But then if you go by skybox of from the top to the bottom, it is bigger than any other map that has been made. That's the kind of because it, it's really cool. Because let's say if you go from this one area and then you go straight down, it loads like three different levels in that one whole map. Oh, wow. That's what I would like to see with Anthem. It's like a map that has levels to it. Not like, you know, like you load it, it's just like, it's a giant map and it has regions in it, and those are, the regions don't load in unless you go to, to, to them. Yeah. And it would be expensive. Um, a massive area that you could see, and you can look from one end to only maybe about a third of the way, and still, you can only see maybe part of the map, and you have to keep going until you see it. Okay. Another game, or I guess... 
you know, continuing with Ark or whatever. Um, the the last DLC for Ark comes out this year too. Oh, true. Which I think is called what Extinction. Mm-hmm. Which they previewed oh. at the ending of Aberrations, and I think oh. they were supposed to add an ending for Scorched Earth as well this year too. Oh. So we actually get endings for those games. That, I think that's pretty cool. The, because the, the DLC are the campaign oh, maps. Yeah, yeah, DLC are campaign good. maps. Yeah. So we got another, you know, another game that's not complete, JK. Um, I, you know, for a game like Ark, I didn't really expect it to have a storyline. So oh, I'm, I'm really surprised that it does. It's pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. Like, stuff like Minecraft and Ark, I just, you know, them being survival games, I just never expected them to have storylines, but that's pretty cool. So another game, what's uh, what's another game that comes out this year? What about for Code Vein, basically? Oh, yeah, Code Vein, yeah. For me and you and Gamer. Yeah, Code Vein comes out this year. Black Desert Online comes out this year, too. Uh, Also, Metro. Yeah, Metro Exodus, I can't wait... I am I think, so excited. Out of all the games we mentioned, the only two that I probably would buy for this year so far would be maybe the Monster Hunter World, but, but definitely. Oh, the we Metro. didn't mention that one yet, so definitely, definitely Monster Hunter like next week. <laughs> wait, say again. I said I forgot that we didn't mention Monster Hunter yet, so yeah, definitely Monster Hunter World will be next week. I was waiting to fucking mention it. That's <laughs> why I've been sitting here quiet. I'm holding this, it in. It's I'm an, like, this is an open only discussion. Two, the only two games that look interesting to me for this year are uh, and Metro and oh. uh, Monster Hunter. That's it. Not I'm Anthem? Like I think Crackdown 3 does not in- basically intrigue you at all. Wait, I'm which one? Gonna... Crackdown 3. That's supposed to be coming out this year. I could. I can't hear you. your voice. He said. He said Crackdown three. Crackdown three. I haven't played the other Crackdown, so. You have never played Crackdown. Nope. I didn't. Like about Red Dead. Ah, Red Dead. Ah. He... Hold on. Hold on. Silent for a second. Hold on. What, what was that, Guardian? What were we gonna say? Uh, I said I didn't like the Crackdown series. I played Crackdown. I think two. I didn't play one. It was okay for me. I like the explosions. I know they're like uh, destroy buildings. Uh, yeah, I know you can destroy buildings now in this one too. It's like it was like uh, battlefield. A game. I'm gonna mention this game only because it has a release date set this year, but it's currently getting the Half Life Three treatment. <laughs> but uh, Kingdom Hearts Three. <gasps> yes, I am so excited for that. Oh my right god. Right now it has a launch date for this year, but they've had a launch date for the past two years, so. I'm really excited for Kingdom Hearts 3. That's that's a hype game right there. I remember when they first announced it back in 2014. I was like, hey, we're doing Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Can, Can we see it? No. No. Here we are. No, no. Three, oh, two, three years later, uh, the we still don't have it. <laughs> Where but is that Kingdom Hearts 3? We're going to get it soon. The fact that... It's ridiculous. Like, I'm thinking about it. And Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 came out on the same system, on PS2. And several years later, we're on a PS4 now, and now Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out. Well, it's coming off for Xbox as well. So well, yeah, yeah, I know it's coming on Xbox. Xbox. See, well, that's please, my uh, problem, though. I hate the fact that we're getting Kingdom Hearts 3 on Xbox, but I love it as well. I don't have a PlayStation 4 to play Kingdom Hearts 3, but I really want to, so I think that's really cool. However, it's stupid that we're getting the last game for Sora's thing, anyway. No, I know it's not, I know, it's not the last Kingdom no, Hearts, but... Gamer, it's not the last for Sora. It's the uh, last for uh, Xehanort. So okay, will still so, be okay. the main character of the rest of the series. They already said that. So it's the last Xehanort. We, we just, we're smack down, I guess, in the middle of the end, or the end of the middle. No, we got, or the end of the we beginning. got I know, but it's still Kingdom Hearts 3. It's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> we're missing so many other Kingdom Hearts games. We're, there's it doesn't missing... mean that they won't decide to ever do definitive editions. Our rollback editions of the past ones. Yeah, I'm try- yeah I've yeah, been okay. trying to research those, <laughs> and apparently... Apparently they were saying how they're not gonna do it because Sony has a contract to those. So that that so like my my thing was I felt like they were the reason why they were expanding. All right, I feel like they were the reason why they were expanding the Kingdom Hearts series for so long, adding more and more different games. It was because of the whole entire contract that they had with Sony. So that's why they couldn't have Kingdom Hearts three on Xbox until now. That's that was my theory. That's yeah, what came about all the other Kingdom Hearts. Hey, think before. about this though, um, because of Xbox. New systems, they might be, they might have to work on a little bit more to give it the next system updates as well. Well, they're most likely gonna do that, yeah. So it might be delayed. Xbox enhanced. 
if it did come out, it could come out at the end of this year or at the beginning of next year. No, it can come out. Okay, it can come out this year, but they can eventually just make an edition that has the Xbox Enhanced. Oh wait, no, no, no. the Xbox X Enhanced stuff that just happens randomly. They, it's Microsoft that has to do that. It's not other games, like other game companies, because like Halo Five and all the other games. The game before companies Xbox are the ones Xbox. that request it. Yeah, they yeah they request it, but it's Microsoft that actually enhances it. They don't have to do anything to it. We lost someone from the. Yeah, yeah, Jin, Jin said he'll be right back. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But anyway, back to that Monster Hunter. Guardian recently just played Monster Hunter on the freaking PlayStation 4. Again. Again. Are you hype, man? Are, are you hype? Yes. So is it really good? Yes. So you would recommend to get it? Yeah. To you? No, because you're going to take <laughs> competition away from me. Wait, what? I said, if I'm going to recommend it, I'm not going to recommend it to you, because then you're going to take my position away from me. My <laughs> position is Bowman. Ex- my point exactly! <laughs> All the bows. I'm yeah. Not- freaking... I want to go Archer, but I can't go Archer if you're a Bowman. There's no point in having two uh, two Archers this or two long-distance people. This is well, definitely two long... That's... Okay, how about... Hmm... Hmm... It, it, here's how it goes. If you get it and you go long distance, I'm probably going to play the support uh, class. Well, what support class did you choose again? That one with... Damn. Couldn't... But, uh, I don't remember the no, name aren't of the you, class. Aren't you, the aren't you able yeah. to get unlock all the stuff anyway? You yeah. can. You, you can start... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you start the game with everything, but it's all basic gear. Yeah, you, you can only pick one. To, well, then we could uh, switch around. And See, well, what I think and is, I think you start off the game either with a sword and shield, because that's like the basic monster under weapon, or you start bow. off you start off with, no, not really a bow, but you start off with whatever weapon you want to choose, but the, whatever class you do choose, <laughs> that's, bless you, that's Thank the weapon you. you'll continue to have until you get more, like, gear and stuff like that for the monsters that you can and come and create. Yeah, the, and the then you create the problem with that is, is... If they do that, they're changing out how all the Monster Hunter games have always been because the way that it's set up is they give you the ability to swap classes to deal with certain monsters. Like earlier, I'm finding a monster made out of a rock. That's a bad idea as a bowman because I don't have piercing damage through that rock. Okay, cool. That means I can't do this quest properly. Let me go back and switch out to a hammer, which has a better hit radius on something with armor. Okay, cool. I need this. Or if you're fighting something that's mainly True. airy, okay, it's bad to try and go in at that going, uh, if, especially if you're solo. It's not a smart idea to go in with that as just playing a single class. This is one of those games where playing a single class, especially solo player, isn't very beneficial. But in multiplayer, if, if everybody picks a class that can co- co-ascend, and do what they need to do, then you could pretty much play one class the whole way through with one person having to switch up at, uh, every now and then. Yeah. Because, like I said, Bowman, uh, I was playing Archer. I like the Archer class, but it's, it has no effect on some uh, one of the monsters. It was not a good thing to use on him. Uh, but the Archer can fire three arrows at one pull. I was only hitting him for two damage per arrow. Dang. And the only way I did damage to him is using my uh, dragon shot, which could it could pierce the armor and do a shit ton of damage, but it was still barely any damage. I was only hitting for like 20. Whereas when I switched up and went into the hammer, I, uh, I managed to... I was hitting him for 53, 75, 82. I was hitting him hard. But the problem with running as a hammer okay cool i have all this damage but i'm slow so if the creatures when they hit certain health points they run away as a hammer it is not a good idea to go and run this creature down and have your hammer out until he stops whereas someone like the any of the archer classes or the uh long distance classes they have a better chance at hitting the creature and getting aggroed back up so that the others can get to them and another downside, something I don't like about the 
certain classes is I'm playing as an archer. I don't want to be too close to the target. And the problem is, is a lot of those guns don't have range on them. So you're still in the fight yeah. and you're where the monster can get you because I was playing with a bow. There is an actual range where your arrows stop working. Whew. So it's like, okay, well, you know what? I like this class, but uh, the downside to it is, is it's just there. You would think with a range class, you would have range. You're 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 firing arrows at something. You should be able to fire the arrows as long as you want, as far as you want. But I mean. The the double edged sword on that is I could see why they wouldn't because if the creature's running away and you're in an open field you could take advantage of that. Yeah. So it would be the purpose of having. We're, we're, we're talking about monster of the world in the classes. Hey guardian. Hi port. Here's okay. a question. Hopefully when I so, get back because I got the um. Here and I'm oh, actually one. Hold, hold on, hold on, port, hold on, port. What was that, Jeff? Uh, so I'll be back. I'm about to leave just like Twinkie always leaves when he goes eat. Yeah, yeah, you said you'll be back already. Leave to eat. <laughs> Just saying, you kind of usually do that, so. Yeah. Right, oh, I bring my food no, that's normally Barry that does that. Yeah, true. Hey, I'm gonna go eat and then don't come back. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna go do that. All right, Jim. Me. I'll be back. Just later. come back. I will. Maybe come back. Uh, I'm not. I may not. Hey, uh, Jen, I want you to know I never put a shirt on. So imagine what you were seeing earlier oh, while you talked to me. Sure. Oh. All right, what was your question? Okay, one, Garden, how about this? You'll be Archer and I'll be the Gun Lancer guy. Yeah. That works. You know, I forgot what Barry chose. Didn't Barry choose something? But I will, still, a Facebook I will chat? still, I will still work towards getting one, um, one of the Bowman weapons, probably the heavy one. I mean, yeah, it, like it is said, smart uh, to get Every anything. Monster Hunter game that has ever come out and that I've ever played, you get all classes open and you get the basic weapons, basic armor for that class. Yeah. It's like... Okay, cool. I uh, it helps with dealing with things so that you're not stuck with one class trying to fight a monster a certain way, and to keep you from having to grind extra hard because the game is already a grind. It here's, here's get... a question about um the characters though. Um, okay, this bugs me. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. See, all <laughs> sing like okay, anyone who has a single weapon has their weapons their main weapon in the right hand but when you have anyone that has a shield and a lance or a shield and a sword their weapon is in their left hand and their shield always is in their right hand is there a way to switch that in game so you can have it the other way not that i know of the reason why they do that typically whatever your dominant hand was and a lot more people are right-handed um yeah but I put the your dominant in the left hand, hand is what you keep the sword uh, or keep your shield in to keep a better Blocking block. Thing. See, in reality, that's not how it's done. Because people who use sword and shield, they could do both, but they train themselves to use. Oh, my, I'm, I'm, I'm. But uh, as I, know, I don't think there's a way you can switch it up. You might be able to through once the game drops. You can look through your options and shit. But uh, yeah, it always bugs me that it's like for, for me. If I was to have my dominant hand, I would have the weapon in my dominant hand and the shield in the left. You must be a lefty. Yeah, he's a righty. Right, no, I'm right-handed. That's how it, it's done. A majority of the games, though, they have like the sword in the right hand and the shield in the left up for a majority of the games. And movies. Yeah. And shows, actually. I don't know why. Dominant hand. Uh, a, a lot of people would run a shield in their dominant hand for better defense. Because if you put a shield in your other hand, you're really putting your capabilities with that shield at risk. That is, I mean, it makes sense now. I guess as a hunter inside a game, it does make sense for the shield to be in the right hand. Instead of the left. So I guess that's pretty cool. How realistic if they uh, kept that. But anyway, uh, um, what other games come out this year? Um, I think that's the major titles with official dates right now. At least the ones I can think of. 
Yeah, I can't really think uh, of any others. I either. need to, get to go by GameStop and grab me a uh, updated list on what's coming out and when the release dates are. Yeah. I don't really remember much many. Oh wait, no. Well, Dragon Ball Fighter Z comes out in March. Oh um, yeah, I forgot that. about that. I hated the beta. I hated the beta. We couldn't do anything. We couldn't. We couldn't play it. We couldn't even do a uh, watch. I got really to play it, but... but the problem was, is everyone I played against had already been playing it for. Uh, I think one guy went against had been playing it for like, like six hours, so he got the early access, and he destroyed me. I couldn't. Even, I think I hit him four times. Jeez, like you could. We couldn't even do that freaking playthrough on it for the beta. Uh, Metal Gear Survive comes out, but that's getting loads of hate. Even it's Jin hates Kojima's it. Kojima's not doing it. And, yeah. But everybody's got to remember, Kojima's doing his own thing now. Yeah. If, wait, doesn't his game uh, Death Stranding, I think that's, come, I think that's what it's called? Doesn't that come But out? you know what? Death Stranding's got a lot of hate to it, too, so... Does it really? Uh, I've seen a lot of people not happy with what Plus, Death Stranding is. Must have normal so, read us. Yeah, they're, they're trying to, from what I've seen, a lot of people aren't happy with the game because it's not it's not Kojima styled like you would normally do it. Mm-hmm. But look, we, in the world of video gaming, we have to be ready for change at all times. Like, a lot of people pissed off at the new Halo games. Yeah, that I is can true. see why, but you have to understand, it's a new company working on the game. So whatever Microsoft had going with it, when they ended it, they gave all rights up to 343, and they were like, well, here, do what you want with it. 343 is like, well, here's our idea. Yeah, here's you got to think about it. Think. They also used to be former employees. Yeah, some of them used to be former employees of Bungie. So, and, I mean, some of the writers were former, and they just completely turned the thing upside down. Because that's what they wanted. They wanted a game that's going to turn it upside down. And it's yeah, it. made it. They made the game from a casual competitive to mainly competitive, and that's why it's not as fun anymore. Because it's more competitive than Apex. It, it, it's lost a lot of the casual gaming feel to it. Yeah, I guess. Everyone flings it grenades started, now. It started off casual multiplayer. Because so, I remember I used to play it nonstop for days on end. Wait, which one? Halo 4 or Halo 5? 5. Oh, yeah. I played. Oh, I did the same thing the four too. So I, I played Halo Five a lot more than I played Halo Four. Uh, I know like Halo Four. I uh. Halo Four was terrible. Halo Four was. was yeah. Halo Four was interesting. Ha- what is it terrible? Halo Four was the one game that I bought a season pass for. Did Halo? Did any other Halos have any season passes? Nope. I, Halo Four. There was no season pass. Yeah, there was. Wait, which game are you talking about? Halo 4, I think, had a season pass that came up with all those map packs. Halo 4 had a season pass that came with the castle map pack. Yeah, yeah, uh, the castle, the crimson, I think crimson. Yeah, crimson, and I forget what the other one was called, but uh, it was the first game. Was I it watched. Majestic? Majestic, yeah. 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 Yeah, it was Fireteam Majestic, Fireteam Castle, Fireteam Crimson, and... I think just those three, because then eventually they came up with a free DLC that came up with Forge Island as well. Yep. With the ODST armor and the Mark V armor. Forge Island was terrible. Yeah, Forge Island was disgusting. I, I don't Forge, like Forge Island. Forge World. I like can't every, say they were, I, Me and they my friends spent a lot of time on Forge Island building shit. But. Look, they said Forge Island was, was going to be bigger and better than well, just three platforms of three different sizes. That was just terrible. Yeah, People like bad. having an environment to build onto to expand. Yeah, you're the schmuck. That That's why Forge Forge World was so great because it was already ba- a based environment that you could build off of. Well, I the mean, other thing is flat ground. I mean, they kind of redeemed themselves with their new Forge Worlds inside Halo Five, so. Yeah. It was okay. I mean, those are like. I'm gonna say this: those were just like hillsides. So, um, hillsides. Yeah, no, they had, but I mean, they, they, they copied what they did for Halo 4 regarding the three Forge worlds that they made, and they I put know. it inside Halo 5, but they added even added. more ones. Like, they added a desert one, they added an underwater one, which I thought was really cool. 
They had an Arctic one, a um, a, a space one, a hill one. I think they had I like one the more. Space. Oh yeah, water one. That was just plan on water. You already said that. No, no, I said underwater. There was two. Uh, uh, no, no. See, if they took the element when they made the Halo Two anniversary, if they had just taken the forge they did for that, like the forge on that, it was just like, oh, okay, here's a plain water map that you have, and then you actually put your own landscape. I like that. They did that with on Halo Five, but then there was the Halo Two forge. They should have had in Halo Five, which would have made it better. Than it was, and they shouldn't have redone the entire control scheme for the forge. Whoa, well, whoa, well, okay, hold on, hold on. I just, my computer just notified me of something that happened. Uh, okay, so apparently, let's, I guess there's another game that we can talk about that's coming out in 2018 is Red Dead Redemption 2. Apparently, oh, yeah! I yeah, about that one. my Never computer radar so hard. My computer literally just notified me about this game, saying that the release date got um got leaked, and apparently it's it will be on sale July twelfth, twenty eighteen. So actually, I'm going to copy and paste this link and put it in the description below for this podcast. There we go. So yeah, apparently that's another game that's coming out this year. <laughs> I never played I the first one either. It. It's, a, it's an under the radar game because. They're not saying much on it. It's supposed to be good. Yeah. You're supposed to be picking up from where the other Red Dead Redemption started. Yeah, that too. Oh, shit. Oh, I have to be fucked. Wow. <laughs> so I'm curious as to, uh, I'm curious, because I wasn't a fan of the original Red Dead Redemption. But a lot of people that's. Were. But that's because there was a game before Red Dead Redemption that's what it is what Rockstar first started that series off of, and it was called Red Dead Revolver. Um, and the way Red Dead Revolver played was it was a sandbox map with shit to do, and you could open up different guns, you could go and, and you fought different villains, you still... Uh, it's what the um, the is showdown. Like, is it kind of like um, what Ghost Recon Wildlands is in a way, where it's like that big sandbox and you just don't go no, through it? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, Wildlands is open world. That's a long game. Oh, okay. no, yeah, it's a, I can never play Wildlands. That thing's way too long for me to play. It's a long game. I'm almost done with it, but when I um no, what Red Dead you get the level was every time man. Yeah. You know, like, how Overwatch maps are set up? They're small. Oh, they're, those. Okay, oh, those are the same boxes. Yeah. That's kind of how the maps were. But the, the multiplayer in that game was fucking fun as hell, though. I, I loved it. Oh, okay. I played as this clown that could throw uh, acid vitals at people. Because what's more terrifying than a clown throwing acid vials? <laughs> the Joker. That's pretty much what it was. The Joker, what? <laughs> but uh, that that's why I couldn't get into it was because I played Red Dead Redemption and then I played or I played Red Dead Revolver and then I played the other one that came after it, which Red said, Dead no, there was one that came after Red Dead Revolver before Red Dead Redemption. It was on the GameCube, it was on PlayStation, and you start the game off where you're tracking down a deer and then you have to fight a bear. I don't remember the name of it, but it's what set up it's what turned Red Dead Revolver into Red Dead Redemption. But God forbid I can't remember the name of the fucking game. And now I'm mad at myself for it. <laughs> God, what was the name of it? Well, you think about that. I'm going to try to think of another game that might be coming up this year. For 2018. I mean, there's other DLCs that's coming out this year, too. Halo 6? True. Halo 6 will not come out this year. I'm telling you. It's, it's not, not going coming. to. It's, it's not going to. Tell me what you know. I don't want I you hope to it, it. I hope it comes out next year, at least. I'm hoping, because apparently they might be making a second Halo game. I'm hoping it's Halo Reach Anniversary, because a lot of people are asking Everyone about that. Everyone wants that. But that Everyone. will only happen. That will only happen if Halo 5 comes, not Halo 5, Halo 6 comes out next year. 
If they have Halo I mean, anniversary, then Machinima can make a comeback. <laughs> see, I don't, I don't yeah. think you will. Because in every anniversary game they did, they added six new... They only uh, anniversary six new maps. Or six maps, or whatever. So, like, for Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, they gave Halo Reach six new maps from that game, and from and one from Halo 2. Um, in Halo 2's anniversary, they made the MCC, and they only renewed six maps as well. And, like, the theater is horrible. Kind of. Don't you take it's a lot worse than Halo 5. I'm sorry, but it's, it's true, and I'm pretty sure if Halo 5 comes out in 2019... Or not Halo 5, Halo 6. I said it twice. Wow. Halo 6 comes out in 2019... In 2020, if Halo Reach Anniversary comes out, they will only redo six maps, and they will put them all on Halo oh, on Halo 6. Third time I said that. What I hope they do is give us it's a not good and kind of like ODST. Was that's what I'm Reach also was. hoping for. I really want that, a that's brand what new I Halo want. Game. I want them to. I want them to cover some other shit that's happened in the Halo universe because the books are uh, the books go all over the place. See, and that's what I also the... don't like. I like how Halo 1, 2, and 3 were just linear. Like, you know what's going to happen after Halo 1. You kn- well, not really after Halo 1. You didn't really know what was going to happen after that. But after Halo 2, you knew exactly what was going to happen right after that. It was Halo 3. That was fine. And even we even got the Halo 3 ODST storyline, which wasn't a big deal between Halo 2 and Halo 3. But yep. between Halo 4 and 5, that was a really big leap. And you would have to look at the comic where it showed the Didact dying again. Because apparently the Didact, the Didact lived... After Halo 4's ending, which made no okay. sense that he died in the comics again, and apparently also the Arbiter and the Elites or whatever made a truce with the Brutes and stuff like that. So that was never mentioned Brute. in Halo Brute. 5 at all. The Brutes are the best. Freaking Joel Damo was apparently like a main villain inside Spartan Ops on Halo 4, but not a main villain inside Halo 4 main storyline. Yet he dies in the beginning of Halo 5. Like wh- what's uh, going on here? Me off is that pissed me they off too. Hyped him up then, so hard in Spartan Ops on Halo 4, and then you start the game off with hashtag spoiler alert. Um, you start the game off with fucking killing him. Yeah. And so I'm like, and here's another thing: this is, is a what about the... This dude is a badass. And... What happened to all the? Keys, those those keys that you get from Spartan Ops, you know. Yeah, those, what happened to the freaking um, two keys? The exactly. freaking Doctor Halsey had one, and then the other guy from Spartan Ops had the other. Like, what happened? And this, yeah, what happened to those? Like, there's the so, two many keys holes. Are so, so many holes. Secret installations of Forerunner technology everywhere. And one thing I don't like is that if you're gonna say a game is for new players and old players, it has to be something brand new, like Final Fantasy 15. Like Final Fantasy 15 was perfect. It was something for old players to really get into. They enjoyed it, and for new players. I really enjoyed it. That was a new game for me, for Final Fantasy. They said the same thing for Halo 5. And if you jump into the storyline, and you fight Joel Lumdama, you're like, oh, was he a bad guy? I don't, I don't know how important he is. Then you get to meet Cortana, and like Master Chief talks about Cortana or whatever, but you don't know their relationship if you're like a new player to Halo and stuff like that. There, that... There's just... No, it's only, that's, Halo 5 is only for old people. It's, I don't want to say it's for new people at all. And, yeah, that and, that, and the way they, 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 they and, and, and another thing in Spartan Ops Jill Odama gets pissed off with Halsey cuts her arm off they don't mention any of that in Halo 5 as to why to what her arm was cut off for to why uh, even to the fact that hey she got her arm cut off by the same guy that's telling her to do everything for her yeah, they just go, they go and find her, and they see her with like, the new arm, and then you they're know like, what? they don't mention it. So many stuff would be would be understandable if you just start reading everything. You have to like dig yourself into like research on Halo Five and all the Halo lore and stuff oh, like that. And the reason and that's why just, her people arm just don't have time with that. Reading really is messed. sticky and bad hey, for the soul. The thing is, we don't promote in that Spartan PC. Ops. <laughs> in Spartan Ops, Halsey got shot in the shoulder, but the elite's like, oh, we're gonna fix it by cutting off her arm. You know what's bullshit to me? What? In Halo 3 ODST, one of them takes a fucking gravity hammer and survives. Oh, my it son, Mickey. It was Mickey. <laughs> it was Mickey. It was Mickey. Yo, Ron. I always, was, I always get a joke. One. I always get a sniper. joke. No, what was the sniper guy? Was that Mickey? No, yeah, it was. No. It, it was a sniper mission. It was a sniper Romeo. mission. Romeo. Oh yeah, Romeo. Yeah, Romeo got hit. Yeah. And his sniper. Right? I, oh, come on, he's should He's black. He was black. Yeah, he was a white guy, yeah. But, uh, 
No, it pisses me. Like, everyone else, you get hit by a gravity, and you're dead. He could just take him to the shoulder and be like, yep, I'm, I'm alive. <laughs> See, I, I made a joke about that. I, I made a joke about... Yeah, they foamed it up and stuff like that. But I made a joke about that, saying get hit by gravity hammer, come back a Spartan. Because he, he became a Spartan 4 after that. He's the only Spartan 4 with Buck. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then Dodge and... is retired. Mickey Dodge is, is retired. seen as a, a Mickey, traitor. Mickey died. He's dead. Mickey well, and Romeo. Was... See, in the book, he Not didn't Romeo, rookie. die. Oh, they said that he became a traitor or whatever. But it, no, he, he was tri- he was tricked. He was tricked into becoming a traitor and stuff like that. But eventually, he he died somehow, and so did Rookie. June uh, is a recruit yeah, for the Spartan Core program. Palmer. Yeah, he trained Sarah Palmer, and he like supported the uh, Spartan uh, Four. Uh, June is uh, June is the reason why Buck is a Spartan Four. Buck's a bitch. <clears throat> June is a Buck is a Spartan Four. Buck's a bitch. Shut up, Twinkie. Oh, yeah, June, June, June is, is the reason alive. why Buck is a. Freaking Spartan. Spartan. He, uh, he, uh, the, you remember the chick from, uh, ODST? There. The blonde haired one? There. Her and her end up getting together. There. And, uh, they're out on a beach re- resort enjoying their time away. And June just hunts them down, knocks on the door, was like, hey, we want you for the Spartan 4 program. And Buck was like, <laughs> no. Yeah. Obviously, he said yes. Well, no, he said no to begin with, and then yeah, well, he should have changed his... the book on. Uh, I'm actually now reading the book on how Buck became a Spartan before, <laughs> and during this time, Buck is hired. Actually, after he goes through the Spartan training, he is hired to find Chief during that time where between Halo Four and Five, where Chief disappears. So See? he's tasked with going and finding Chief and figuring out what happened to him. And to bring him back home. <laughs> See, I can as talk far about... as I've gotten, I don't know what happens because I'm still pretty shallow in the book due to video games seeming to be a little <laughs> <important> reading. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'll let y'all know how that goes after I get a little further in. Right. June's also the one who actually um, trained Palmer. I said that already. Yeah. But see, I can oh, I, I can talk about Halo no, all actually, the freaking time. Uh, Buck saves Palmer earlier on during his time as ODST when his team were still all together. Uh, Palmer gets pinned down and Oni tells Buck to leave her to for death, the leave her to die to the brutes because they're they were on a mission to grab a top secret chip to grab uh that had Covenant secrets on it and. Buck told the Oni people to go screw themselves that he was gonna go save these Marines down there. So he jumps down he um he jumps in a semi and just plows through two ghosts, hits a whole platoon of freaking it just drives this thing, flips it over on a whole platoon of Covenant, and then hops out and just starts gunning everything down, joins up with Palmer and they just start fucking everything up in the town. Nice. But yeah, we yeah, can talk yeah. about Halo. We can talk about Halo throughout the whole entire thing, but I, I'd rather not. Is it a Halo yeah. podcast? I want to say one last. I want to say Halo. one last thing though, relating to Halo, is that the they take like you know the special ops, the ODSTs and stuff, make them Spartan fours, and then when you see them, the Spartan fours in action, most of them suck and get killed, and it's it's like especially and. Especially when you're playing the game back in like Halo 4, when you have the Spartan 4s as like AIs to help you in the game, they were terrible. And then like, oh look, the Marine AIs, oh look, they're doing better than the Spartan 4s. Yeah, that is true. And still, even even in story, like you're you're watching this and you're like, they get their bucks kicked half the time, and the Marines are still um, backing them up to keep them from dying. Yeah. That's I mean, I killed, them the mo- stuff. I killed them the majority of the time anyway because I needed ammo. <laughs> That's poor AI stuff on 343's part, but it's whatever. Anyway, so like all the all the games we discussed for 2018, do you guys think this is a year for gamers? Or do yep. you guys think you guys need to wait and see until, like, I guess E3 comes out or whatever? Probably wait until E3. It is not a gear for me. If everything you... continues going the way it is that it is now... I have to say this will be a year for gamers because 
on top of things we should talk about, uh, Nintendo made an announcement at the beginning of the year that they plan on selling a shit ton more um, Switches. Not only that, they plan on doing immense amounts of backwards compatibles for games that have come out. Like, um, two games coming out, something to talk about, Soul Calibur 6 and Bayonetta 3. Bayonetta 3 being Switch exclusive. By the way, um, yeah, that is being Switch, uh, Switch exclusive. Isn't uh, the Dynasty Warriors game coming out this year? Too? Uh, yep. It's supposed to be coming oh, out. there you go. Something for you, Chucky. Summer. <laughs> but, uh, the Bayonetta 1 and 2, they're going to be Switch exclusive. Uh, they're going to be, or they're going to be put on the Switch for people to play. See, so it's I, like, I, I definitely believe that this year will probably be a year for a gamer that has every single, con- not only every single console, console, but at least more than just one. Because all yeah. I have is an Xbox One, and I, be, I feel like Monster Hunter can last me until, like, another good game. Cause it's gonna last me for a very long oh, time. Yeah. That comes Mine out the beginning of this year. That that's really good. And then next month is a sort of online game. I'm gonna be doing a walkthrough on that, but that's not gonna last me at all. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna do a walkthrough of that and then just be done with it. Not gonna play Dragonfall Fighter Z. Um, and I don't think anything comes out important on April. I'm not sure, but I would have to check. Oh, uh, another game that comes out. Uh, Final Fantasy the City. It comes out January. That, no, is it? It's January 28th or February 28th. One of the days. I have no idea. I wasn't really planning on it. I like the city. The city is a good game. Uh, it's it a fighting game up. between other fan Final Fantasy characters. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It's like Naruto. It was yeah. like the Naruto game. It's not but, Naruto, but, yeah. but like me being just an Xbox One person, I feel like you know Monster Hunter would just be perfect for me. But if I had a PlayStation Four, I could look forward to God of War Four, Death Stranding. Um, uh, what's that other game? That's a zombie uh, game. Uh, Days like, Gone. Um, yeah, Days Gone. There's a bunch of other oh, games right there. Oh, Last of Us 2. And Last, Last of Us 2. I did not mention Last of Us 2 yet. <laughs> that yep, comes that out. That's too. supposed to be coming out this year. And that, that is a fucking pickup from one of the best games that I have ever played. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Last of Us was probably one of the best games that I have ever sat down and played. Because I sat down and did not stop playing. Because I, sat, I became so immersed into the story. Mm-hmm. And anybody that has never played it, I tell them, sit down and play this now. And what's yeah, another really good thing that's coming out this year for PC people is that um, DayZ is finally getting out of beta. And now, or not not getting out of beta, getting out we of beta. We don't care about alpha. PC here. Nobody's no, a PC well, I mean, person. Technically speaking, some people can be. I mean, you know, poor play some PC games or whatever. And Hello. Turkey tried to. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Your Overwatching failed, man. Anyway. No. <laughs> I failed, I say failed. But yeah, um, DayZ is coming out, I think, I, I think it's coming out of Alpha and into Beta, where the Xbox can now get DayZ on preview, which I think is pretty I cool. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, there's DayZ that's also coming out this year. Um, World War Z, that World War Z game, that's also coming what out this year. What about that Walking Dead game? That, that Walking Dead game is also coming out this year. I like zombie stuff. Yeah, so I mean, there's just a bunch of, there's a lot of zombie games this year. If they, I swear, if they announce, um... If they announce Dead Rising 5 this year, that's ridiculous. That's way too many zombies. No, they need to stop Dead Rising 5. I'm sorry. They need to stop the Dead Rising series. They should have stopped it after Dead Dead Rising 2. I'll play Dead Rising 2. I think I still have it. There's also... um... This last Dead Rising had a really good ending after they did the DLC. There's also something another. Yeah, it's after you did the DLC. It's like the same thing with freaking... um... Well, look, your main character. Evil Within was a good game. But it didn't explain everything, and if you wanted everything explained happen, you had to play the DLC for the game. Well, the ending was dramatic still for the this last Dead Rising, but they it's like your main character dies, okay? But then well, the, I'm sorry, but what's the DLC? You get to play him as a zombie, and then he gets to come back to life. The uh-huh. hell? <laughs> That's what yeah, I'm they, there was a way, it was like there was a source virus, you had to collect these um, certain certain things, you had to make sure you get them all, so yet you would have the good ending where you can escape with all the survivors. If you don't get them all, most of the survivors will stay dead. Wow. Oh, another zombie game that's coming out is the ending for Walking Dead's Telltale game. The ending of Walking Dead's yeah. Telltale Yeah, this is the last season that they're making, so yeah. What do they do? Introduce Negan? Oh, I hope they do. 
Oh, I know. No, no, they go off the comic book, and Negan's only the TV show. No, Negan's in the comics. Negan's in the comics. Is he? Yeah. You stupid guy. I hate you. <laughs> they just in the comics, but they're like they're like the way I think the Walking Dead Telltale games are. I think they're more close to Fear the Walking Dead than they are into the Walking Dead. Yeah, probably. I mean, they have they're, one in the first season. They're, but... they're, they are their own stuff. But... Yeah, they're they're their own though. Just like how the Game of Thrones Walking Dead one is. I mean, yeah, there are uh, still they certain have characters from Game of Thrones characters game. from the show before they actually entered. The yeah. Show. yeah. Or how how they got into their position, like they showed Glenn in the Walking Dead game. Um, and then how he left that group and then ended up in what was Rick's group and stuff like that, yeah. Or before First Rick's all, group, it was, it was Shane's group. group. It was Shane's group. I said Shane's group, you slut. You damn right you did. <coughs> but now Rick's group. Anyway, or almost Negan's group, because I mean Negan's pretty much going to This is Negan's group. <laughs> this is Negan's group now, dare. for now. For don't now, you, no, not you, even. This is Maggie's group. This Maggie's taking her freaking stride in this now. This is Maggie's she, she group. Taking, no, she has the hilltop. She does not have Alexandria. Alexandria doesn't even fucking exist anymore. Fine. You know what? No, no. I'm giving it to Carl. This is Carl's group. Carl's gonna die. He saved them all. Okay, this is Carl's group. What do you mean he saved them all? The next time. He this is actually. Pillar. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Whatever. We'll move on to the next topic now. So yeah, I guess, you know, that's our answers and stuff like that. I think it's the year of the gamer. If you have more than one console. Guardian thinks it is overall. Because I guess he has two consoles. Oh, three, three actually. And then you two needs four. to wait until E3. Four? I have the 3DS as well. Eh, it's still a Nintendo. Because I have the Switch, the 3DS. Because you know the 3DS tends to get exclusives. Yeah. And then I'm getting a PS4. Ah, Pokemon. Soon. <laughs> All right, so the last topic before we enter the uh, random topic is what's your most anticipated game of 2018? Monster Hunter Worlds! <laughs> it's World, not Worlds. Jeez. So that's your most anticipated game. All right, what about you, Port? Metro. Metro Exodus. Okay, okay. What about you, Twinkie? What's your most anticipated game of 2018? Um, I'm hoping that it's Daisy. All right, Daisy, Monster Hunter World, and Metro, and Mines. I would say Monster Hunter World. I really want to say Monster Hunter World because I'm so hyped for that, but I don't want to be a copy. God, player. I hope it's a huge fail. It's I not. Know, it's really so not. I, there's it's a huge fail. I'm killing Twinkie. Monster Hunter games are because rarely Twinkie ever games. a huge fail. It's rarely. God, I just fail. hope it is. It, it's it's most likely not going to be. The demo is fucking amazing. It's so most I... likely not going to be like... It's it's hard. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I want to pick Anthem. Anthem's my most anticipated game for 2018 because Destiny 2 flops so hard and I, I just need something to just... Destiny 2 can suck my left nut. I, I need something to just... Yeah, I was going to say, game. I'm probably fixing to just get rid of my Destiny 2. And then <laughs> I don't have that issue. That I have it. I'm keeping it because uh, the update, or not the update, the DLC and the new DLC comes out this year too. Yeah, I, don't I still want to see the DLC story stuff, stuff come out. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait Disney. until they drop a season pass for everything that comes out. Yeah. Anyway, so now we're on the next section. Sadly, Jen cannot tell us his anticipated game, but I think it's most likely Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, um, it's Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, it probably is. Anyway, so this section of the podcast is the last and final section. It's pretty much another free folk. Not, well, free folk. It's pretty much another free talk part of the podcast, just like the second one, and I asked each person to give me a topic that they want to talk about, whichever spin wheel, whichever one, whichever the point lands from the spin wheel, that's what we talked about, so I will just say the topics here, now, let me see, yeah, okay, so Jin said, so you guys can get ready, Jin said games that need fixing, so that's his topic, we can talk, we can definitely talk about that. Port said, what are the things you want to see in Halo 6 from past Halos or new content that we might want to see? So Halo 6 is, I guess, the topic for that one. Uh, Guardian said Monster Hunter World is his topic for this one because, you know, it's right around the corner. So what? this shouldn't be a problem Halo for us. Halo 6 is a topic. Why do we spend, like, five minutes on Halo? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, uh, no, technically speaking, we didn't spend talking about Halo 6. We talked about Halo 5 and Halo. I didn't say, I didn't say Halo. I just said Halo. Yeah, I, I, I know, but it was a free talk. It was a free talk thing for that one, saying our most anticipated 2018 games, and it was your fault anyway, Tony, because you said Halo Six. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Blame the guy who did it. It was. I mean, we talked about we talked about Monster Hunter World and Halo kind of for a good time, but I mean, we didn't specifically talk about them a lot. Um, Twinkies was biggest video game downfall of 2017. 
And I I, like his explanation for that was that something that we were really hyped about and then just got completely shut down, kind of like Destiny 2 and Battlefront 2, and Fortnite, Fortnite, yeah, and you know other games like that, Skyforge. Um, and the last one is mine, which is consoles with the best video games of 2017 to 2018. So like, which console we think has the best video games from last year and in this year? So yeah, let the wheel decide. Our fate. What the fuck? Why is my mom FaceTiming me? She's upstairs. Hold and on. it's <laughs> Monster Hunter World by Guardian. That's what we are Woo-hoo! going to discuss. That is very ironic because it comes out next week. Yeah, All right. Dude. I know it would be too. We started. Uh, I, 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 like, I, I know. Need, on the will of fate, it's mic. gonna go to Monster Hunter World because we need to talk about this. I needed my computer and everything, and I heard Monster Hunter World, and I heard woohoo come from my fucking Xbox controller. That's how loud you were, Guardian. <laughs> 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 All right, so regarding Monster Hunter World, we're gonna be talking about this. Like, two of us are really excited for it. It's me and Guardian. Port never really played a Monster Hunter game, so he's kind of he might be getting it. And Tui just doesn't want it at all. So I think this is yeah. He, Port's skeptical about it, and Tui doesn't want it at all. So I think this is a really good discussion regarding you know why we enjoy it, why someone wouldn't want to get it, and why you might be skeptical about it, Port. And let's see if we can persuade Port to get the game. Anyway, Monster Hunter World immediately. Why is a unicorn an elder dragon? That's what I want to know. After finding out that Kirin, that freaking lightning unicorn, is an elder dragon, I I am just so flabbergasted about that. I thought elder dragons were, you know, dragons. So, uh, pl- well, please explain that to me. Misconceptions. I know it's just weird. It should be called elder beasts, not really elder dragons. All right, so I'm guessing because I heard the yay, I'm gonna say it's the monster hunter world. Yep. It is, yeah, it's Monster Hunter World, yeah. Oh, well, I have nothing to... Con- I, I Did have you not hear anything I just said about this? No, he had it muted. Oh, son of a... I no, said... I you because of the microphone. Yeah, I said because you don't want to get it. You should talk about why you don't want to get it. Yay! Why? Like, you have to, you know, explain why and stuff like Doesn't that. Doesn't seem like the type of game I like in general. Hmm, yeah, I guess so. I mean, what, what's the... What, what, what don't you like about it, to be honest? Like, what's... What, what? Here's how we'll do this. We'll go from Twinkie, we'll go to Port, me, we'll do you, and then we'll do me because it was my idea. Alright, yeah, it's fine. Alright, Twinkie, go ahead and talk about Monster Hunter World and why you don't like it. Because maybe someone agrees with the same thing regarding you, and maybe someone, you know. I'm not an RPG type of person. Like, I mean, like third person games like that are not my forte. Third person games like, or just third person RPG like, games? Both. All, okay. yes. I was say, if you would have said third-person games, I'm like, what is Fortnite again? Huh. Fortnite <laughs> is a zoom-in game. Can be. I mean, you can zoom in if you pick the um one of those range classes on Monster Hunter. It's stupid. Oh, oh my gosh. It's, it's basically Skyforge, except with different monsters. It is not Skyforge at all. That's a you say MMO that, but you're going to play it, and you're going to be like, wow, this is stupid. This is I really played fun. a Monster Hunter game before, and I really enjoyed it. I played it. a Monster Hunter game before. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Yeah, he, he, he's just mad that literally every one of his friends that, you know, he's, you know, always plays with yeah, or is no getting it and he's going to be friends on Xbox. I'm going <laughs> to, like, just stay in my room, sleep all day, and just be like, you know what? I'm just going to, like, debate life. Twinkie's Apocalypse no begins Because no one's going to want to play with me anymore. <laughs> And they're all sitting there like, yeah, no, if you're not playing Monster Hunter World, we're not going to invite you to the game or the party. So I'm literally going to be talking to myself. You know what? I'll I'll make a special, I'll make a, yeah, that's what I said. But I'll make a special arrangement for you so you won't feel alone. Don't worry. I don't feel alone anyways. Yeah, you probably will because, you know, no one's going to be playing Overwatch or Fortnite. Yeah, no, not even Emily. Well, I mean, Emily, this is the first time Emily ever got Monster Hunter games. So, like, she says it looks really good, but I'm not sure if she's going to continue playing it. I mean, I think she said the same thing about what game? Ark. Yeah, Ark and Destiny, and she just doesn't play it anymore. So. Well, I mean, there's no reason to play Destiny, but... I don't play Ark either, but we'll play Ark. The reason why no one was doing Ark is really because everyone kind of stopped doing it. I mean, a lot of games came out. But anyway, back to Monster Hunter World. But yeah, okay, so Turkey's excuse is he's going to be alone. I'm a loader! That's my excuse for everything. <laughs> why don't you go and do stuff? I'm alone. Why don't you have a girlfriend? Because I'm alone. Why don't you go to I'm alone? Why do you go I'm alone? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Why'd you kill the guy? I'm alone. I'm alone. <laughs> In court. Why did you kill Why did you kill the I'm alone? Oh, what about you, Port? Well, I've only 
I haven't seen the multiplayer aspect of the game, and I haven't. And the stuff they showed is just a single person fighting the mo- uh, monsters in those three quests from the beta, and that's it. Uh, and they're just running around most of the time. So I would just I need to see. I like to see more multiplayer aspect as well as the other functionalities of the game. One thing I do like about Monster Hunter World is that it's drop in, drop out co op. So like, even if someone leaves your quest that you want that you were doing, it doesn't affect you at all. So that's that's really cool. But it's literally that running around and stuff like that. Just pretend that there's three other people with that person. That's still Monster Hunter, just with <laughs> multiplayer. There's also that uh that social. That social area that's there, the social space. It's, I think it's on like a ship or whatever, and you can like arm wrestle with people. <laughs> so cool. Alright, so what about you, Guardian? Guardian? I He's think, dead. I, I think we killed him. I think him realizing I didn't like Monster Hunter World killed him. Oh my god, Twinkie, what did you do? What? Something that should have been done a long time ago. <laughs> We'll try to, like, keep this conversation going for Monster Hunter as long as we can. Until Guardian, I guess, comes back. Guardian, are you there? How about now? Okay, I heard something from his background. Anyway, I, I'm really... The reason breathing. why... Yeah. The reason why I'm really excited for Monster Hunter is because back when I played Monster Hunter Try on the Wii, which I think is Monster Hunter 3 or whatever. The Wii. Uh, the Wii. I, I, I got really excited. This was before I ever got Xbox Live, I think. And I was really excited to play it. And I played online for the first time. It was really cool. And I always wanted a Monster Hunter game because I got more used to playing Xbox than I did for the Wii. And I didn't really have a PlayStation 3 with me either. So, me wanting a Monster Hunter game on the Xbox, I never got one. Or, I mean, there was never one except for Monster Hunter Frontier. But that released in Japan, so I was really sad. But after seeing last year's E3, I think I mentioned this in the update too, but like after seeing uh, last year's E3, I was really happy. Really happy. Like I, I remember I was watching with uh, my friends Toby, Kadein, and Kadein's girlfriend Alex, and I was like, yes, yes, Monster Hunter. I freaking called it. And now I called it before they even like showed the title or whatever. And then seeing it that it was on uh what it was on Xbox's uh oh like the Xbox symbol was actually on the uh, bottom of the screen saying that's what also was gonna be available for. I was just so excited. Ah, oh, Monster Hunter World is going to be my life for the next few months. I thought you said wife. I was like, I'm going to go tell Emily. <laughs> but no, I'm like, it's life. Yeah, it's life. Life, 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 you back? Yeah, I'm back. All right. We all talk about Monster Hunter World. Your turn. All right. So, as somebody who's played Monster Hunter World for a very long time, um... I have to say I am highly anticipated for this game and that there's a lot of shit that I'm looking forward to in this game. One thing I'm happy that they did making it an open world thing is, uh, give me a second. I can't breathe. I, uh, I'm liking that they did away with the sections where, cause in the old monster hunter games, a monster could run and then you had to wait on the loading screen to go and catch up to this monster, switching in between the areas. And I always hated that. Mm. And I'm happy now that I'm at a point where, okay, cool. I'm, uh, I got this. All right, I'm playing this game. I'm liking this. The monster's running from me. He can't escape. If I want to fucking hit him as many times as I want... It's a matter of how many times I can hit him before he puts a distance in between me and him. <laughs> and it's like, I like how fluid the combos are. I like how fluid the, uh, I like how fluid the whole entirety of it is. And it's just, I have high hopes for this game, and I know that they're not going to be dashed on. And I expect that the next few weeks, maybe next couple of months, included with grinding, um, I do plan on putting a lot of time into this game. And oh, yeah. You and me if both, I'm man. taking a break, I'm taking a break simply because I don't want to continue without my squad. Hashtag squad. Squad. Um, I'm not a part of your squad. Fuck you. <laughs> Get the damn game then, bitch. Ain't nobody got time for that. We all did. 
Ain't uh, nobody important got time for that. I, uh, and, and again, as somebody who's fucking Monster Hunter fan for a very long time, Monster Hunter fan, my boy. I am so happy to see this game, and I remember when they announced it, how happy I was, and how quick I went to pre-order it. Um, I am now just finished talking to my friend about update upgrading mine to the deluxe edition when he goes to work tomorrow. Um, nice, nice. he's gonna take my destiny in and do it with that. Nice, nice. And I'm just, I'm ready for this fucking game to hurt me out. I'm counting down the days. We got a fucking week left before this bitch is out. I know. And I have to say, I'm half tempted to tell my boss lady I'm going out of town just to sit down and play this game. <laughs> and not worry about anything for a week. <laughs> yeah, I'm going out of town. Some, a family member's sick. Um... I gotta go out of town. Something, uh, we got a family member I gotta help out. And I'm probably gonna be gone for a week, so... See, I feel uh, like that's, that's the thing. When a, when a game that you're really most hyped about, like, if you work at a place that sells video games like GameStop, and, like, you're really hyped about a game, and if you call off around where that game is releasing, you're not going to get that day off. Uh, I know. But that I'm not going to do it anyway because uh, I need money. And yeah. See, I work the day after it comes out. I work that Saturday and that Sunday. I it And I work the night right before it comes out on a Thursday. I think I got the new schedule for next week. If not, I think I got this week. I probably won't. Uh, in all honesty, I probably won't know what I got to work until the end of the week. Yeah. Twenty-four. No, nope, I got my schedule here. Uh, I work that Saturday as well, but I work morning till four. Yeah, I work morning till five. So right after I'm getting off work, I am going straight to the game. Oh sh- shit, me too. Or I no, I think I have to do my Bible study with my dad. Then I'm gonna go straight to the game. Damn! I just thought of something. What? I can't play that long that night because I have to be up in the morning to go to work. On Friday? Yeah. Oh no! Wait, that's right. We can get it Thursday. I can play all day Friday, and then yeah. I can. Okay. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. The game comes out technically that Thursday night, and then you can just play it all day Friday, which is why I'm happy about it because oh, Emily. God, yeah. Right. Emily also pre ordered the game and she's like game sharing with me, so like whenever it like releases on U- um, EU servers and stuff like that, or like the EU launch date, I, I get to play it as well. I, I like right when they play. If you do get the chance to start before us, if you start before us, I'm coming to where you live and I'm gonna whoop your ass. I'm not gonna wait at eleven at night if I can play it five to six hours earlier, okay? <laughs> You need to wait for your squad. I've waited years. <laughs> we are a team in this. We are oh, hyped. God. We are hyped the same amount, man. All right, fine, Just, fine. Let me I'm at least play the tutorial. I'm gonna be mad as hell sitting there watching oh. you play that shit, I and I'm gonna be mad as hell sitting there watching Barry play that shit. He can't play. He can't. Me to get it. He can't play it unless it's a, um, released for the U.S. servers, because I'm the one who. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one who bought it, so yeah. he has the U.S. ones. That'd make yeah. you a bitch if you started it without us. But, like, what about our squad? Who's gonna be on our squad of launch night? Uh, and there's more than four There's more than four of us getting the game. It's gonna be me, you, Barry... But you also gotta remember, yeah. I have school and stuff, so I might not always be able to yeah, play. Yeah, it's gonna be me, you, Barry, and then whoever else. Yeah. But I will help... I it's will, probably gonna be Velocity. I will help... Um, well, does he have school? No, he starts school next week. That's right, he starts school next week. So it probably won't be Velocity. So it'll probably just me, be me, you, and Barry, because everyone else has school. True. Yeah, okay. I play it whenever if I am uh, able. Yeah, and Emily's most likely going to be asleep that time. And, uh... Jin has school, I'm pretty sure, the next day. Well, velocity will have school. Yeah, it's just going to be us three. That's fine. Basically, y'all will be the support squad for whoever gets on to help. I, I, I plan on playing with Emily the next day. Or that Friday. Well, I'm gonna say Emily. I plan on Emily playing on with Emily as well. Yeah, I don't want her to feel left out. I'm curious to see how she's gonna play. Yeah. So that next day, because knowing Velocity, he if he don't have anything to do, he's probably just gonna sleep in anyway. (laughs) Because it's Velocity, so it's probably just gonna be me, you, Barry, and Emily to begin with. Yeah, probably. Yeah. 
And then I mean, at, he's... At, we, we can figure out what's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not going to... I... It depends what the max level is for the Hunter. Because, I mean, I don't want to max out my Hunter's levels so quickly. I'm not sure oh, you're you not going to max characters. out that quick. You, All right, you... cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I was getting 5 XP for doing menial shit, and I still wasn't leveling up that fast playing the demo. Yeah, you're good to go. Because I don't want to like, fight all the monsters is, instantly. And there's a lot. A, of a lot of the leveling up comes from... Uh, West. It comes from small menial shit. And then, yeah. even then, the level ups really don't do much in the area other than allow you to get certain armors and shit, if I remember correctly. Oh, okay. That's so good. it's like it, it's not, and I can guarantee you, we're going to fail a lot against some of the monsters because it's I believe trial. it. I believe it. It's always trial and error. It's like so, we, seeing what classes work with whatever monster. One, I'm one thing I'm really excited. The reason why I don't feel like I'm gonna stop playing this game is because when I start getting into the game, and I play it and play it and play it, and I just like lose track of time. Devil Joe comes out in like spring of this year. And that's just a that's just a monster DLC thing, and all of the monsters are free DLC that they'll come out with. But it's not just Double Joe; it's um, other monsters as well with it. So that's even more stuff to fight, and yada yada, like more quests yep. and stuff. So that's really exciting, and it just keeps coming out every like every few months or so. And I am really hyped for this because like if people have been putting in like 300 or so hours on this game, I I am hyped for that. Not on this game, but like on a monster hunter game. And I am ready to put in the work. With my dual blades. I'm just this game. I have to say, I, I'm I'm excited for, and probably I'm the most excited for out of all of us. Now screw you. <laughs> we could be equally excited. You already got you. You've already played it. I haven't touched it at, at all. Come and on. And that now. just tells you how excited I am. <laughs> <laughs> because we all know how I feel about doing shit like that. I'm not. If it's a game I'm really anticipating, I'm not going to sit down and play it. I want to go into it with a already set mindset. I'm not going to watch... You know me. I'm not going to watch trailers on something because I don't want to set that mindset for it. So it, it's the fact that I caved in, sat down, and went against the one thing I never do tells you how excited I am for this game. Because we all know... I, you y'all know firsthand how I am about breaking my rules. Yeah. I just can't wait. Well, anyway, I'm pretty sure that's all we have for the uh, Monster Hunter topic that Guardian has suggested. I thank you guys all for uh, joining us on this uh, first ever Polycore Media podcast. Hopefully we can do this every month when we have the uh, the time to. February will probably be a little harder for us because Emily's actually going to be coming here in February during the time we're supposed to be doing it. I'll probably wait until after she leaves, maybe, unless she actually wants to participate in talking with us, too. But who knows? Anyway... Uh, I'm, you know, DGamer119, the host of the podcast. We have Port. Mm-hmm. Wow, well, you have to say something. Mm-hmm. That, that's cool. You have to say bye. Wow. Oh, I think... So, so, so mean. So mean. Also with Twinkie. I didn't... Wow, Twinkie's not even here. You guys are like the worst with outros. I hope you know that. All of you the worst. And with Guardian. Woo! Thank y'all for stopping by. Thank you, Guard. That's the hypeness I need. Jin sadly not here, so I'm pretty sure he would have said something hype too. But you know oh, what? Yeah. The other you two all suck. You both suck, okay? I'm looking straight at Port's little Spartan thing and straight up at Twinkies Admiral Akbar profile picture. So anyway, hopefully we you know we can bring you guys more of this. And um, we have a, a question, or at least I have a question. I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing this every ending of the podcast for you listeners out there. Um, since the last topic was Monster Hunter World, what are you guys most excited about about uh, Monster Hunter World? And um, if you're not, if you don't plan on getting Monster Hunter World because I, I guess you can't afford it or whatever, or like it just doesn't interest in, it doesn't it doesn't interest you at all. Um, my next question, you know, would be what game are you mostly excited about in 2018, and why? I guess yeah, why? So anyway, thank you guys for joining us, Polycore Media. And, uh, yeah. See you guys later. Goodbye.